She's back, but few are saying that she's better than ever. The reviews for Lindsay Lohan's performance as Elizabeth Taylor in Lifetime's Liz and Dick are in. And let's just say she's not exactly earning Emmy buzz. Well, here's a quick clip from the movie. I'm bored. I'm so bored. What? I'm bored. How? What are people doing? They aren't working. Don't ask them, dear. They are working. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you started laughing before I did. Lisa Ludwig is a local actress and celebrity, and Jason Pomiatlosh is a movie blogger for Buffalo.com. And I think your laugh kind of said it all, but what did you guys think of Lindsay's performance? Well, I was upset. I mean, apparently I missed the phone call to originally play the role, so they <laughs> had to go to... I watched it twice. I watched it twice. It was like a car accident. You had to keep watching it. I... Jason, you watched it twice too, right? <laughs> Ten times. Uh, you DVR'd it. I did. I watched it three times. But I mean, whatever keeps her working and out of jewelry stores and off the road is important. But that's, that's a certain perspective to take on it. How did yeah. you think she did? Uh, well, and to be fair, the script was pretty bad, so she did not have a lot to work with. So people that criticize her are, you know. That being said, though, it is a bad script. But the, the gentleman, what is it, Grant Bowler? Yeah. He actually, the gentleman who played Richard Burton, didn't do a bad job. I mean, and again, as an actor, you can have a bad script, but a good actor can try to make something out of it. And she wasn't even trying to be anything except Lindsay Lohan dressed up as Liz Taylor, I thought. So a believable performance as Elizabeth Taylor? It sounds like not. A believable performance as Lindsay Lohan dressed up in a costume as Elizabeth. I don't think she did anything like Elizabeth Taylor. And it was sad because as a young actress, if you remember the Parent Trap days and Mean Girls, she's a good act she was a good actress, mm -hmm. I thought. Definitely, she had a lot of potential. I mean, she played a dual role. That's never easy when you're 13. And again, I remember my children, and again, this is children watching it, but Parent Trap was on two, three times a day. And, you know, we had the video where we watched it over and over, and she was one of, I thought, one of those child actresses who was going to go on and do something. And she's just kind of an embarrassment, I think. Well, do you feel like this was not the right role from her, or she's just really not a great actress anymore? What do you think? I think both. <clears throat> I think both. Um, I think I, we were joking in the green room. Uh, there was a, a movie, Machete, out a while ago where she had a cameo. She should have stopped right there. She was kind of, <laughs> it was a, a spoof and a comedy. But I, I just, I was thinking today, though, I don't know anybody who would have played the role. If you could have recast it, I was trying to think. This yeah, it's morning. hard. I guess her and Megan Fox were like leading, like up Another, for the part, and she beat out Megan Fox Another for great the lead. actress, Megan Fox. Well, they kind of are similar, Megan Fox and Lindsay Lohan, in their acting abilities, it kind of seems like, right? Or would you say Megan's a lot better? No, I would say Lindsay used yeah. to be a lot, used, to be a lot used to be a lot better. But again, I think you hit the nail on the head too. The script, I mean, the the dialogue and things that she was saying. But as an actor, you would do some sort of research. I mean, they had footage of the real Liz in these movies, and I don't even think she was trying to impersonate her in any way, shape, or form. And you know, with all this hype that built around this movie, where does she go from here, Jason? <clears throat> Well, she actually has like three films coming out, uh, like Scary Movie, another three films, so I don't know if this is going to build. I heard she's very upset. She's read the <laughs> reviews and it's hurt her, so I think she'll be continue doing what she's doing. I again, mean, she's going to make a few more movies. Scary Movie, again, is a spoof. I mean, I think she kind of needs to stay in that level for a while instead of trying to do something serious because, I mean, again, if Liz and Dick was supposed to be serious, I don't know what they were thinking. Somebody said the only thing, there was a comedian, the only thing Liz and Dick did was made a new drinking game of how many times Elizabeth Taylor was rolling in the grave while the TV show was on. If you took a drink every time, you know, it was uh, worth watching. Pretty hard, but <laughs> you watched it twice, so you I know. did. I you had to. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't being uh, too critical. Again, I think it's worth watching just to, to see what they did with it. Well, thank you so much for being with us here today. And for now, we're going to send things on over to Emily Lenahan with your dot com check. What are people saying, Emily? <laughs>